There are wide areas where European integration has made uh, strides forwards. I recall only uh, the prudential side, especially macroprudential with the ESRB that has been set up. Uh, we have now the institutions, uh, but uh, we need the support of academia in order to define not only the analytical monitoring uh, that is necessary in this area, but also uh, to uh, design the toolkit that will be used. And then we have also uh, areas where we have very little experience, for example, on the interaction of this new area of macroprudential with other policy areas like microprudential, monetary policy, fiscal policy and also structural policy. We have to stop uh, uh, to be in a permanent uh, crisis management, uh, which means uh, talk about funding, and we have to go back to talk about stability, that means to prevent future crises. And that means we have to go back to a more rule-based system and to respect the uh, regulation that we have set ourselves. Uh, the discussion on the uh, legislative uh, initiatives uh, of the European Commission uh, concerning economic governance, uh, which are presently being discussed in the European Parliament, uh, where we have, uh, as ECB, called for more uh, rules-based system with more automaticity of the sanctions. And uh, this should also be extended not only to the fiscal side, but also uh, to the structural policy side. And uh, on the other hand, another example would be uh, the uh, European uh, Fund uh, for Stabilization, uh, where we have very clearly asked uh, that it should uh, be given all the flexibility uh, that would be needed in order to intervene also, for example, on secondary markets.